Neela, how many people live in this particular community here? In this particular place, uh, there are about 30, 40 people living. Okay. Okay. How many young people out of that uh, 30 or 40? There are not so very much young people okay. here in this area. Thanks. Yeah. What, what, what's the bread called? It's called Laibi in Sami. Laibi? Yes, in Sami. But yeah, ch just help yourself. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Oh. Just take it like this. Thank you. Mm. I don't put any any butter on it. No, I won't will. either. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you healthy, guys, or what? No, but it melts. <laughs> yeah, okay. I love it. Oh, mm. it was delicious. So good. Fantastic. So good. Fantastic. Um, if, if the climate change continues at this rate, mm. in the future we won't have any reindeers left. No. Because the reindeers won't survive, adapt mm. at this rate. And it goes too fast. Mm. They won't be able to adapt their nutrition systems and everything. Now, when you say that there's changes in the climate are affecting the reindeer, can you share some examples of what you've seen in terms of the way the reindeer live, their, what's happening with their physiology? Tell us about how these changes are actually impacting what you see with the reindeer. Well, I've only worked full time with reindeer since school and that's okay. 14 years now. But these last 10 years, we haven't had a normal winter, as my father told mm -hmm. the winters used to be, and, mm -hmm. my, and my ancestor. Uh, the biggest problem is during the winter time. Mm -hmm. Because the reindeer doesn't dig the bait pit mm -hmm. just, uh, just anywhere. Mm -hmm. it, it sticks its nose to the snow and smells through the sometimes meter deep snow. Uh -huh. It smells, it's, oh, there, I, I can smell pasture down there. Hmm. So I dig here. Mm -hmm. They don't consume any energy in just dig anywhere. Right. And uh, these last years, last 10 years, the winter has, um, the climate and the temperature changes from day to day. And that makes the snow so very dense and compact, mm -hmm. and sometimes with ice layers. And if the snow is too compact, the reindeer can't, can't smell the food. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. So, it's, if it doesn't find food, it's very simple. It starves to death. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's very, very difficult because other things like, uh, like forest industry or mining or something like that, you can try to, to do something about. You can right. try to stop it. You can try to pr protect your lands. But the climate, you, as, a, as a simple reindeer herder, we can't do anything about it. Right. Oh. It's very hard for us to affect it. Yeah. If this climate change keeps on go keeps going at, at this rate, I'm pretty sure that the reindeer won't survive it. Yeah. It, it goes too fast right now. And without the reindeer, the whole Sami culture will disappear. Mm. And the world will be an, an indigenous people poorer in the future. Yeah, because the essence of Sami is reindeer. Yeah. Tell us about the impact on other wildlife beyond reindeer, by, about by global warming. The most significant what I've seen in the summertime are the new mosquitoes mm -hmm. okay. and new parasites that comes and stucks on our reindeers. Interesting. Uh -huh. So there's more and there's different. Yeah, it's more new and different, and we okay. new species or yeah. like yeah, yeah, uh -huh. and uh, things like we we don't know yet how they really affect the reindeer. Mm -hmm. No. So that's, uh, that's one thing that scares me a lot. Some, uh, some mosquitoes lay eggs yeah. beneath the, uh -huh. the skin oh. of the reindeer, oh my and God. some lay eggs in the, in the throat. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. we don't know yet how, how they're affecting, oh. but we've seen this summer. Is this, are... are there mosquitoes here too, doing that, laying eggs? I, I get a bit panicked now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the mosquitoes yeah. are And there's yeah. one, in fact, on you right yeah. now. Are you right. kidding? Get rid of it, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Are you hopeful when you think about the future? Well, if I say I'm hopeful, I, I would be lying. Okay. Because uh, the future doesn't look so very bright right now. Right. You took part in the Arctic Council meeting in Kiruna in 2013. The, Arctic, the whole Arctic Council is very important for us living up here in, on the Arctic. And I felt that they really wanted to do something about the situation and try to help all people living on the Arctic. So in that way, I'm, I was very, I was very surprised in a good way. Mm -hmm. 
if we use the land in the if we use mother nature in the way we are doing right now it comes a day when when it will collapse mm -hmm. it's very important to remember that it's, it's not only the indigenous people or those living on the arctic that are affected of the climate change for example that's right it affects us everyone yeah, absolutely yeah. correct yeah it may be we are in the front line right now here but it will come a day when the rest of, of the world is very hard affected also. You know, uh, guys, we've been so very serious now for a long time, and I think uh, if we have any viewers left, we, w we have to award them with a funny clip. <laughs>